Do you think it is possible to solve the traveling salesman problem, a Sudoku puzzle, and a Rubik's Cube by simply making random guesses as to what the solution is? And here I'm not talking about a brute force approach way, where you try everything until you find the solution, I'm talking about purely guessing what the solution is. Well, not only is it possible, but by the end of the video you will know exactly how to use simulated annealing and what simulated annealing is, which is the technique that we're going to use to solve Sudoku. You'll know how to solve Sudoku step by step, and I'll provide the code that I wrote as to how I solved it, and you will have all the knowledge required to solve the traveling salesman problem and the Rubik's Cube yourself. Now, let's get into the video. So before starting and solving Sudoku by using simulated annealing, let's first start by understanding the basics of simulated annealing. This is an optimization algorithm, which means that it can be used to find the minimum of a given function. The way that it does that is by first choosing a random state and evaluating the cost of the function at this certain state. And then it chooses a new one and it accepts this new state with a probability that's given below with a formula. And in this formula, delta is the cost of the second state minus the cost of the first state. So if the second state has a lower cost than the first one, then the probability of this state being accepted is almost always one. And if it's not, which means that if this is a state where the cost is higher than the first one, then this is either accepted or it's not. And this depends on the temperature of the function. And as the time passes by and we try more states, the temperature will lower in simulated annealing, which means that the algorithm gets greedier and greedier as time passes by, and it only accepts states which actually make the whole system better. So let's go ahead and look at a simple example. So we first start by choosing point x1 and then point x2. As you can see from the picture, point x2 is at a lower point than point x1, so this new state is accepted. Then we start by choosing point x3 and we compare it to point x2. And point x3 is actually a little bit higher than point x2, but we still choose to accept it because the temperature of the whole system is still pretty high. And we repeat this method over and over again until a minimum is reached. And this is how simulated annealing works. And we'll use these same concepts to solve Sudoku. Now let's see how we do that. The approach that we will follow to solve Sudoku is the same approach that we followed to find the minimum cost of a very simple function. We'll first start by generating random states for this Sudoku and see how we do that. If you look at the picture in the right, there are numbers that are green and white. The green numbers are fixed values that are given when we are trying to solve a Sudoku and we cannot move those. And the white ones are random numbers that I put in there and that we can move around. The way that I fill these random numbers is by putting unique numbers in the 3x3 three three squares, which means that we'll have duplicates only among the columns and the rows. And when it comes to generating a new state, I will first choose a random 3x3 three three square, and within this 3x3 three three square, I will choose two random values that are now fixed and flip them. And this will give us a new state of the Sudoku. But how will we know if this state is better than the other one? Well, we'll have a cost function. And this cost function will calculate the sum of the duplicates along the rows and the columns of this Sudoku. And at this state, the total cost is 38. And we're trying to bring this cost down to zero, which means that there are no duplicates along the rows or the columns. And that means that the Sudoku is solved. So those are the two main steps. Now for the third one, we have to choose a starting temperature to solve the Sudoku. And the way that we do that is by calculating the standard deviation of the cost for 200 starting states. And whatever the standard deviation turns out to be, that will be our starting temperature. And I chose to use this method based on a paper written by Dr. Lewis 
on solving Sudoku with simulated annealing and I will put a link down in the description below. The next thing is calculating the number of states or iterations for each temperature and that will be the number of free entries squared. So let's say for a given temperature we'll try 100 or so states to find whichever one is the best one and this is called homogeneous simulated annealing. And last but not least is choosing a cooling rate and I personally chose a cooling rate of 0.99 and the reason why I chose that is because it gave good results by trying it experimentally. If you could go with something like 0.95, the algorithm would be faster, but it is not guaranteed to find a solution. So this is how you solve the Sudoku. You can follow a very, very similar approach to solve the traveling salesman problem or to solve a Rubik's cube. If any of you would like to do that, I'd love to see the code for it. And I'll put the code that I did for the Sudoku down in the description below. And before we end the video, let's first look at this code in action. So I won't go through the code here, but we'll just see the code running. You can find the code in GitHub and try running it yourself. I have a starting Sudoku here where zeros are the empty entries and every other number is fixed number that is given in the Sudoku. So let's see it running. So here you can see the number of errors dropping and it drops down to zero and then we have a solved Sudoku. It was as simple as that just by using random guesses and using luck which fits very well with the channel. So if you made it this far into the video please feel free to give us a like. Just tap the like button gently and feel free to leave us a subscribe. And for the next video we will be doing a bot that plays Catan. Hope you'll enjoy it. Thanks.